Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to ServiceNow 911. In the series of ServiceNow HR Service Delivery, we are at video number 8. Okay, we already discussed various important things and you have to go through all this video one by one to get maximum from HR Service Delivery. In today's video, we are going to discuss about HR cases. So what is a case? So let me go to instance. Right now I am logged in as a HR admin and in this let me go to the cases. Here we see HR case management. So let me go to here all cases. So look at these cases. These are having numbers. These are having some short descriptions. These are having some states. So let me read out the short description here. It is report drug and alcohol. Report workplace violence. Report discrimination. So after going through these cases, we can say that these are the requests from the employee. And these requests are made to organizational HR department. So we can say that all the request, all the information which the employee need, all the information which the HR share with a particular employee are, you know, uh, managed with the help of cases. If you want to know something about HR, if you want to know something about payroll, if you want to know something about employee relations, anything which you need from HR, you need to create a ticket and that ticket is known as HR case. As simple as that. So in ServiceNow HRST, we have this HR case table, okay? This is the main table or you can say this is the fundamental table here. And there are various other tables which are divided with respect to functional disciplines and are, you know, related to this table. So this is the parent table. Rest other tables are child table of this HR case table. What all other tables? Let me show you. HR IT cases payroll cases, talent management cases, reward cases, and there are n number of cases. So this is the main table. This is, you see, HR IT operation cases. This is, you see, all the payroll related cases. And this is talent management cases. And this is reward cases. So like this, there are n number of tables which are child table of this HR case table. And we also call them COEs or you can say center of excellence. In order to you know establish a proper process in HRST service not divided, uh, complete HR functions into COE, that is center of excellence. Let me show you the COEs first of all. So under HR administration, you see COE configuration, open it. So you see these all are the COEs, okay? So these are nothing but virtual differentiation of HR works, right? Of HR functions. And we are doing this in order to manage the work properly so that the HR team will do their work at their best and will be able to manage the work properly. So being an admin based on your organizational structure, you have the ability, you have the you know permissions to enable or disable any of these HR COEs. Whatever you configure here and save it, all will be reflected in this table. You see, for each COE, we have tables. Like here, we have HR payroll cases. So the for same, we have this HR payroll cases. So these functional disciplines are nothing but tables when we talk about service now structure. So in each COEs, we can see various cases associated. So we have to define complete thing with respect to a particular COE, like from where the requests are coming. Who is going to manage this request? Who is going to work on these requests? What all are the various categories which are coming under a particular COE? What all are the HR services which are there for that particular COE? So all these things are managed under one roof and that roof is known as functional discipline or you can say COE. Okay, so let me open one of the case here. Let me open that and let's uh, go through it so that you understand it better. So ladies and gentlemen, this is the case here. Okay, this is its number, unique number, you know, who is using it, who has opened it, anyone from HR department can open it, the employee can open it or the employee's manager or his friend or maybe colleague can open it on its behalf. And who is the subject person? Who is the direct beneficiary of this particular case? Okay, so here we have ITL user. So because this is a demo data, so don't worry about that. Then we have one more important thing that is HR service, okay? So we have to create these HR services and these HR services are directing to a particular COE. So how to create an HR service, what all categories are there in HR service, we will discuss in the next video. Just remember, 
these HR services are nothing but the services which the HR is providing to its customer, to its user or to the company. Okay. So based on your need, based on your requirement, you can go to the catalog. You can go to the uh, HR department and ask them that I need this particular service or in that case, the HR team can create a particular HR service for you and then for that service a particular case will be created or the employee can directly go to ESS portal and find the service and you know request that service so that he will get benefited. Rest other things are self-explanatory. You see the state, you see the priority, you see the source. Then we have assignment group. So as this is payroll case, so uh, someone from the assignment group of payroll will be able to you know work on this. And then we have the collaborator. Collaborator are nothing but the people who are interested in these cases, who are helping people or who are helping employees to you know resolve their query. Then we have the watch list. Watch list are the interested user like your manager or someone from you know higher management or anyone you want to add in this case so that he will be notified whenever there is a status change or any other changes are happening. Then you have to provide your short description, you have to provide the skills, you know what is a skill, how to create a skill, what is the importance of skill. We all discuss these things, we discussed all these things in the past video. If you want to know more, please go back and check there. And then at the bottom you have the results. It may be possible that whatever issue you are facing here, it can be solved by using these, you know, knowledge articles. So the HR case or HR team or HR consultant can attach these things to this particular payroll case and close it or maybe enlighten the user. At the bottom you see comments and work notes. You know what are comments and work notes as well as fulfillment instruction. So in order to provide resolution, in order to fulfill the request, these are the, you know, uh, certain knowledge articles which are attached and the employee can go through it. If you want to add any checklist, you can also do that. If you want to escalate the case, you have the action here. Okay, you know what is an escalation, right? If you are not satisfied, you can escalate it so that the manager or the higher management get notified and they will take action and they will, uh, you know, increase their involvement and resolve the cases as soon as possible. And at the bottom, there are emergency contact if you want to add it. Uh, what all cases are open for this user? So the HR agent okay, can see what all cases are open for this user. Rest all things are self-explanatory, I guess. Okay. So this is all about this payroll case. Like this, we have other tables, we have other COEs. People are requesting things based on that COE. So I hope you understand what is a case, how we are managing the case. And from where this case concept has come from, what is a COE and what is the relationship between cases and the COE. Okay, in next video we discuss about extra services and thereafter we discuss about categories. So there will be much more fun waiting for you. Subscribe to the channel right now and share the complete playlist in your team, with your colleagues or anywhere you want. Till then, thank you so much. Bye-bye.